Hey, uh, today I'm going to talk about a new feature, uh, or newish feature in Runway, um, and that's using exports. Um, so exports are a way, if you've previously used Runway, you know that like to export out single images, you would have to go into um, your app, you'd have to like turn it on through the uh, running, a, running a process, click around in like the vector viewer and hit exports and export out a bunch of individual files. Um, what's really cool is that uh, Runway just added this new feature where you can do exports um, from a model you created. So let's take a look at how to do that. Um, so you'll see here over on the left hand bar, there's a new thing called exports. When you come here, you'll see that there's nothing here. Um, so what you want to do is you actually want to go to view my experiments. Um, so I'm going to pick a new experiment that I recently just made. Um, what's really cool is it's pretty easy to access from here. So you click on any one of these models, you've already completed training. And you just come over here and you'll see it over here, there's a generate sample images. Um, you can choose any number of images you want to create. So this is just going to generate a random set of images. Um, I'm not sure if it like starts at the zero seed all the way up to 200 seed. It might just choose numbers at random. Um, but what's nice here is you can just dump in, jump, blah, blah, put in a number uh, that you're interested in making. Uh, interesting. So you have to choose between 50 and 1,000. Um, let's just choose 200. I'm going to click uh, estimated cost to see how much it's going to cost me. $2. Um, that seems pretty reasonable. Um, I have a good balance just because I use Runway a lot. Um, that seems fine. So I'm just going to go over here and click generate. Uh, these are now exporting your images. So if you come back over here to exports, you'll see that now this is running. Um, again, what's nice about this is you don't need to have Runway open. Uh, this is a background process. It's just running. So you could go ahead and quit Runway, um, come back in a couple minutes, and it's going to generate your images. Uh, meanwhile, it's setting up your export process. Uh, again, it's probably just spinning up a server in the background and generating these. So I'm going to pause this video for a minute, and I'll come back when all these are finished, and we'll take a look at them. All right, so this just finished. Um, it took maybe three or four minutes. So I would actually say it's a little bit slower than um, previous processes I've, I've done when generating images. Like if you use my collab process, it's a little bit slower than that. Um, but still pretty interesting. Uh, once you hover over here, you'll get a export that says download. This is now downloading. Um, it's going to take me a couple minutes for this to download before we can look at them. So one thing I'll note here uh, that I think is maybe helpful to know is that unlike the process that I use in collab, which is like you can download a bunch of images, check out the seed number, and then bring those seed numbers back into like an animation process. Uh, there's no tracking of what the vectors are with these images or even what the seed is. So when you get these images, you're just going to get a bunch of images. And maybe that's the process you want. Maybe you just want a bunch of static images. Um, in my case, I usually want them to seed into animations, so it's a little bit different. Um, I might use this process just to sort of see how nice my images are. Um, or maybe there is a way that I just want to use static images. Uh, but it's worth noting that you won't really be able to animate from these images uh, without a ton of work. Um, like I'd say one thing you could do is you could like open up the notebook I have on projection, project the image back into the space, get a latent space, that latent vector out of that, then animate using those little vectors. That seems pretty crazy. Um, I would probably just use my collab notebook to generate a bunch of images. But if you just want to use runway to just generate images, this is a pretty cool process. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think the other thing I noticed is that I don't know that you can do um, exports directly from any models you've imported in. Uh, so let me just look and see. So if I come over here and I go to, let's just add this to my workspace, um, there's no way to, doesn't look like there's a way to batch export out uh, models that you've sort of imported into Runway. So for my classes where I usually teach you to train on uh, paper space, um, it's gonna be a little bit trickier for this. So uh, just some things to note, but um, it is a pretty nice feature uh, and it's helpful that um, Runway offers it to you uh, right out of the box. So let's take a look and see what we got here. I don't know where those saved to. I should have kept an eye on that. Uh, desktop, maybe? Nope. Documents. The longest part of this video is going to be me finding out where these got downloaded to. Cool, I have no idea where those went to. Um, where does that go to if I hit download again? Don't know. Uh, generate images. Zip. Let's just find it. <clears throat> ah, so it did. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it downloaded to like a file I've recently downloaded. 
Um, maybe I did I just set that somewhere? Um, okay, interesting. I don't know why it downloads to that to that directory. Um, but anyway, you might have to do a Google search to find your, or not a Google search, you might have to do a search in your finder to find the images. Let's take a look at what we got. Uh, these were trained on fireworks. Um, pretty interesting. I mean, not my favorite work, but it's cool. It's interesting. Um, so that was how to use the export feature that is pretty new to Runway. Um, if you have questions, I recommend jumping in the room with the Runway Slack. Um, you can just find it through runwayml.com. Um, otherwise, like, you can drop a question in the YouTube channel. Um, thanks.